Yo, I take a couple weeks away and these motherfuckers are trying to force a pregnancy on a 10-year-old raped victim. This is why I can't take time off. And look, I know you've already heard this story and I don't want to talk about it any more than you want to hear it. But I've got to talk about the fucked up response to it from the right-wing pundits and the media in general. See, the source of this story was an Ohio doctor that had to call a neighboring state and say, hey, can you perform an abortion for my 10-year-old rape victim? Because I'm not sure that's still legal here. And perhaps recognizing the truth of the matter was our policies leave the fate of 10-year-old rape victims in legal limbo at best. The Republicans who put us here decided to just pretend it wasn't happening. Tucker Carlson accused the doctor of lying, and his baseless claim was echoed in other Fox shows. Newsmax, The Daily Caller, Washington Examiner, Breitbart, etc. And it wasn't just the right-wing extremists promoting this fucked-up narrative. The Washington Post actually ran a fact-checking article that cast doubt on it for the most absurd possible reasons. Stuff like that we hadn't heard about it at, directly from the 10-year-old rape victim. Now, to be clear, someone was arrested for raping a 10-year-old girl in the exact area where this was supposed to have happened right after it was supposed to have happened. That was a matter of public record when they ran the fact check. So there's no reasonable doubt that the story is true. But even if it wasn't, nobody was questioning whether this could be true. It absolutely could, and it could by design. So it's more than just true. It's inevitable. But the fact that it's so bad that the situation's architects are in literal public denial isn't going to stop them from making it worse. We just got word this week that the National Right of Life Committee is lobbying states to enact legislation that could make it a crime to advertise for abortion services via pills or otherwise. So not just a law against ads that say dial 1-800-WOUND-FLUSH, but laws against ads that say, hey, did you know abortion pills were even a thing? And if the whole idea of making it illegal to share information isn't enough to scare you, I should point out that they're modeling this whole law after the Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organization Act. You know, in cop movies where they'll say, oh, now we've got them on a RICO violation so we can arrest anybody remotely connected to any of this. Yeah, it's like that. If you publish a thing that says you can take pills to abort an unwanted pregnancy, they want to be able to go after the person who did the layout. Jesus. Remember when I had stories that I could make jokes about or close the segment out with some kind of silver lining? Yeah, wouldn't have guessed it at the time, but apparently those were the days. Anyway, on that depressing realization, we'll wrap up for this week and I'll hand you back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli. <laughs> 